Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to Easy Learn. And uh, today we are going to discuss the eddy currents and what are eddy currents, how they are induced in a coil. Either they are useful or they are just the headache for us and they are just nothing else than the nuisance of uh, our work. And let's discuss the eddy currents. Eddy currents basically means the current that we induced in the uh, coil. For example, uh, EMF is induced you know emf we already discussed the same emf is induced whenever a change in the magnetic flux occurs simply uh, for example there is a north pole and there is a south pole in the presence of the strong magnetic field if the coil is rotated means it changes the magnetic flux and overall experience electromotive force is induced in the coil and this is the useful force electromotive force and it means to say uh, like um, uh, useful current for our applications we used it for our purposes but this emf will be induced in any conductor experience a change of flux this is means that not only in our coil but sometimes any portion of or anything that that comes in our in the contact of the uh, uh, that change that basically is rotating that is changing its position any conductor that is changing not only the coil any equipment that is varying its position and come under the magnetic field it means that emf will be induced in that field also but that is the headache sometime for us and this is called the eddy currents because there is no complete path to flow through this area like uh, like uh, this scenario here this is the very beautiful diagram the north pole and the south pole is the downward not uh, able to see this uh, in below this uh, uh, this sheet of the uh, conductor uh, here the magnetic field lines from north towards south are shown by the green uh, lines that are always from north towards the south pole and uh, magnet due to this magnetic field there is a conductor placed in this magnetic field definitely when we are going to move uh, this conductor with the velocity v then there is definitely due change in the magnetic field scenario occurs and due to that definitely whenever we have seen the change in the magnetic field a magnetic flux basically the current is induced in the conductor because we are not interested in this magnetic field and then this is the eddy current that is induced in this part of the uh, conductor uh, let, let's look at this scenario first that uh, magnetic field lines are downward and the ed current at this is the leading edge where the current is uh, in the anti-clockwise direction and due to this uh, current there is a magnetic field induced which always opposes the original magnetic field and uh, the magnetic field basically induced magnetic field always according to the Lenz's law oppose the original one because it is against the change now if you are uh, changing the velocity it will always tries to stop this velocity and it is against this we are experiencing a force that is acting against us so this is the scenario basically suppose that there is a north soul and this is the generator and if it is uh, moving uh, our coil is rotating to get the magnetic field uh, to sorry to get uh, to obtain the induced emf uh, for our useful works uh, in the generator we have to rotate the coil with the help of a strong uh, prime movers uh, with the generators uh, generating engines required and uh, because there is the uh, indu uh, induced emf in the magnetic field always that is induced in the coil has uh, induced emf always trying to oppose the original magnetic field so that is the reason why we need enough force to generate the current the more current we need to generate the more more force we need to apply through the prime over to the coil because definitely the main reason is uh, for this is always opposes the direction of the induced emf uh, to the original one if um, that is opposite to us that we applied so it means that basically it, it is trying to stop the position and if you are still uh, moving and you you are not utilizing this current this current will end up in the form of heat 
and definitely heat means that the energy and energy means it is lost if you are not using it like this is the scenario where we have wanted the coil in the same direction just to show you we have taken only one coil although the complete setup of the transformer consists of the primary and secondary coils but we are only interested to show you a phenomena this is the ferromagnetic material basically that uh, i am drawing here which is the purpose of this is because we want to transfer the complete magnetic field line through this whole mechanism so magnetic field lines that are developed transferring through this material the maximum lines can be cut out through the secondary coil so this is the basic principle we want to use this in the transformer as discussed earlier in the transformers episode but what is the case here if we are using this soft iron core soft iron bar, bar simply it becomes hot because magnetic field lines are traveling through in in this uh, through this uh, iron bar and eddy currents can cause eddy currents are produced in this eddy currents is the main reason that heat up our this uh, soft iron bar because this uh, eddy currents uh, in this uh, magnet in this uh, hole uh, ferromagnetic material do not have a path to exit so they are they have to end up in this uh, uh, terminate their existence in the form of heat there is no other pathway to live on this system so this definitely bombs eventually our transformer and if this continues with the larger currents larger scale this is the loss of the energy plus there is definitely a coolant requires as you know a high, higher transformer there is a big issue but to limit this issue we tries to do whatever we can up to certain extent so this is the first way of doing this is to transformer cores are often made of the thin layers of the soft iron separated by insulating layers means this is the first layer we are going to attach the another layer on it but between them we have to place the insulating layers and in the form of the wafers as you can see if you are going to look it closely this and this there is a difference between these two laminated bar iron cores this one remains cool because no magnetic field will be developed in the whole scenario less there will be less this, we cannot say this is the zero magnetic field will be induced in this this is less as compared to this one this one is the single piece definitely has shows minimum resistance as we discussed in the previous episode the conductor if uh, a conductor has a more con con uh, area more uh, surface area uh, there is of a conductor means less resistance current will have more paths to follow so eddy currents will definitely found it difficult path so less eddy currents can be caught up in this scenario so uh, it minimum uh, we can reduce this effect by using this one not all the time this is a, a headache for all, uh, us sometimes we want to use this eddy current and uh, in the form it is to melt the metals for example iron iron we want to melt it this is very difficult for us but if we using this principle it is much easier much easier to melt the metals basically this apparatus consists of the outer case first one that is hidden of course because we want to see the internal diagram and there is a high frequency can see alternating current is applied here i'm just showing uh, that the current is connected not it means that dc current is connected of course we are interested in the ac current to produce the changing magnetic fields of dc current is not here uh, in this whole series discussed these coils are mounted on the crucible that is very strong that can of course bear a very high heat its melting point is very high so that it may bear this heat and not melting itself this coil have a chance that it may melt to produce enough heats so for this purpose number one we are using a very uh, the material that has a strong melting point high melting point and secondly they are hollow from the inside there is a circulation uh, necessary so that they are if itself cooling system required like coolant is uh, circulating through these uh, coils make sure that they are not get getting heated heating up further 
uh, that they may melt itself the system may destroy it we are not uh, it's useless system first this is called induction furnace when we supply the uh, the uh, ac current here very high frequency when it is moving through this um, system go through this system actually this is uh, this is just to uh, rip for the understanding purposes less uh, less wounds are shown actually in the actual diagram there are more than this one wounding wounds uh, turn number of turns are more than this one and uh, here we are going to insert what we want to melt thus furnace is constructed to make the eddy currents as large as possible because we are interested in generation of the heats more the heat more the useful equipment to because we are interested to melt the metals the metal to be melted is placed in the crucible here from this side from the center of the solenoid and of course see the magic of this one after connection of the higher frequency ac input there is another useful application is of course switching devices but i'm not uh, just adding the picture of only brakes so let's discuss the brakes first braking system this is the uh, sorry not coil this is the uh, this is a plate metallic plate that is rotating but in the not in the presence of the magnetic field it is simply rotating no force is acting on it but if we have a magnetic field so strong magnetic field is developed and the coil is now rotating in this then it means that when a conductor is rotating or changing its path this is basically the generator principle where we are using the coil where we are using the coil a coil is rotated in the presence of the strong magnetic field but here we are rotating the uh, rotating this uh, disc metallic disc but in this coil we have two uh, terminals positive and negative and then we connected the outer circuitry where we are using this uh, for our useful applications the current has basically in the flowing have a path so that it may not getting heated up and uh, no effect basically on it but here the eddy currents always up is induced in this coil they have no path to exit they will definitely try to oppose this on the internet on wikipedia when you type eddy currents you will easily find a, a very useful information and especially the videos i recommend you to watch these videos because you there you will understand in the train system train the wheels are made up of the uh, you know they are very heavy metallic made made so they are not easy to stop so the braking system is made up of electromagnets there if the permanent magnets are used how we can we can uh, how we can then train is always in the position to stop there is very difficult to run always brakes are on because we are interested in brake system so whenever we we are interested we want we want want to stop this train we turn on the switch to make the uh, magnet system on so when the magnet system is on the magnetic field lines are moving from north towards the south they align up and by doing this system the train eventually stops within seconds the very high force acting on it Uh, the uh, the speed is gradually decrease will be seen in the speed this is the another picture that is basically same that we already saw on the first diagram but here we are viewing the zoom out picture you can say but uh, eddy currents may be used for in the electromagnet braking system large eddy currents in the solid plate cause the motion to create very quickly when the quick speed is very high rotating at a very high speed more the speed more the eddy current is definitely induced and that is always against the motion and it is trying to stop the motion so that uh, when uh, we can simply say that this system will stop uh, and work as a brake system by uh, removing this uh, north south magnetic poles this disc will be free to rotate and by turning on the electromagnet it will become a magnet the north and the south pole it will act as a brake system so this is the simple question i am leaving for you to discuss 
what material is normally used for the core of a transformer so which material is mostly used and uh, i also recommend another question that is not uh, i forget to type here that which material is used in the insulation cores that we had discussed today's episode because i was not able to mention there in the previous slide the which insulating materials is used in the form of the wafers between the wafers of the cores of the ferromagnetic material the transformer so which material is used also add this question in your uh, in your this task today today's task the material of the core is laminated why is this so second question is why lamination is used uh, you have to answer this one so this is enough for the today's episode we will discuss the further discussion in the coming up next uh, coming up uh, episode in the 25 so take care watch learn grow see you in the next episode